a little something about Raymond. He's an investor in stocks and rentals. He wants no money from you, no bait and switch, nothing. Here's what he's going to do. He's going to log into his personal account, share real estate property documents, and give you suggestions on what to read. All right, today is Tuesday, March 30, 2021, and we're going to log into my Fidelity GE 401k, and we're going to see what it do. So hopefully you guys are having a good start to your trading day. The market just opened. And I am not doing good. And I'm tired of not doing good. But one thing I have is time. So all I got to do is wait it out and it will get better. I just can't tell you when. I don't know if it's next week, next year, or three years from now. But it is what it is. And this is the way the market operates. All right. So we want to go to my GE account. And we want to make the text bigger. So let's start doing that. All right. It is super big. And if you are watching this video on YouTube, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. The balance as of March 29th is 423,874 dollars and 30 cents. My rate of return for the year is 4.33%. And we're going to scroll down to the bottom and we're going to see what does this mean in dollars. So that 4.33% means I am up over $17,500 for the year. Exactly $17,578.38. And we're going to go up to the top and we want to look at my best performing investment. So we're going to click on investments. And we always like to click on this tab here, cumulative returns. And here are the four investments I am in over here to the left. And my best investment is at 6.55% year to date. And that is the U.S. Mid Cap Equity Index. So let's just crack that open right quick. And I want to show you guys how many companies I am invested in just by picking that one index fund. So we're going to hit summary, view all tabs, and we're going to scroll down to the bottom. All right, we're here at the top 10 holdings. So this is telling you the top 10 companies that's in my mid cap fund. But the total number of companies are over 400. So I have 405 different companies and all these companies have stock related to them. So I'm really spreading out my money by picking just that one index fund. So remember, index funds are always something to use to diversify your holdings. When you get a index fund, you're in many, many companies and it depends on the index fund on how many companies and which companies you will be invested in. So I just wanted to show you guys that. We want to go back to the summary and we want to compare where we were yesterday to where we were two weeks ago. So we're going to stocks and rentals and we're going to find a last GE update, which is right here. So on March 15, I was at $438,514.43. The difference, bringing it back to yesterday, is a negative $14,640.13. So that's how much I dropped in two weeks. That's a lot of money. That's over $7,000 a week. But this is how the stock market works. And I'm still happy. I'm up for the year. As you can see, the rate of return, I'm still positive. I like to see green, especially on a red day, because I'm getting killed in the stock market today. But 
You guys need to invest in your 401ks, IRAs, brokerage accounts, rental properties, because at the end of the day, you want to be able to make your own money. You don't want to depend on someone else cutting you a check. And uh, you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. So I never did that. I always, uh, when I was working, I always was doing something on the side to make sure if the job didn't work out, um, I was working out for myself. That's always number one goal. Do for self, have everything else secondary, working for somebody else. That's my philosophy. But your philosophy does not have to be the same as long as it works, as long as you're happy. That's the whole key of life. Be happy doing what you're doing. All right. How did I get all this money? Over 400000 I'm going to show you because I want you to be able to do better than me. So you go to stocks and rentals, click on the menu, and I have a page called Start here to learn about your 401k. So all you got to do is click this and I'm going to take you step by step what you need to do. All right. There are 10 steps, 10 easy steps. And all the steps either have a article or video that you can look at. You ain't got to do it all in one day. You can come back and do the first five steps. You can wait a little while, do something fun, come back, uh, check out the, the last five, and just do what the steps say. Don't look at the steps and say, man, I see what he's doing. I see that it's working for him because I'm looking at all his videos, and you don't do it. Because if you don't do it, it don't count. Don't let me get all the paper and you just look at the videos. All right, let's go back to the top because I always like to point out I make my money in stocks. I make my money in rentals. Why would I try to get money from you? That makes no sense. Everything I'm doing is free. Other people are trying to do a bait and switch and give you a little bit and then say sign up for my class or sign up for this. I ain't doing that because I make my money right here. You guys see the money I make. I'm doing it for free. I got your back stocksandrentals.com. I'm out. Peace.